Hey master, I have one good news and one bad news to you. Which one you want to listen first? Both are very interesting news. Huh? What is the good news? The good news is Thundercracker bet with someone very strong. Huh? Really? Yes, he will come in soon. Here is it. Hello my lord, I'm back and I have special gift for you. Good, good. Then what is the bad news? The bad news is, after our discussion among three of us, we think you're not suitable as our boss. Wait, what do you say? You know I can easily kill all of you here. No, we don't think so. I bring along someone you will interested to meet him. Let me bring him here. What? Who is it? Oh, oh no, it's Kandi. It's Kandi. It's impossible. How, how can he still alive? Impossible! You no longer fit to our boss now. No, no, you all will regret this. I will be back. Papa, <laughs> as expected, he is a coward. Look, we better release him now before Venom back. Hi Galatas, welcome back to my channel. Today we will take a look at another new studio series, Voyager Class Galvatron. I believe a lot of you might seem as me, wishing and waiting the Galvatron to be released in studio series. After long long waiting, finally we have him. Although I don't really like his storyline in the movie, but I do like the design on this Galvatron. I quite interested to know how Hasbro present this Galvatron in studio series because in the movie the Galvatron not really call a transform from truck mode to the robot mode. It just turned to the pieces and then reassemble the pieces into robot mode. Just like the Iron Man nanotech. So you really can't see much vehicle parts on the robot mode. I think it's quite challenging for the engineer to resign these figures. Hopefully they will did a good job on this figure. Transformer Age of Distinctions movie logo at the top. This is studio series number 90, Decepticon Gravatron. As usual we have open window at the front of the box without any plastic shield. CGI artwork of our Gravatron. The artwork here looks good. This is Voyager class and we have more zoom in artwork of our Gravatron. On the other side, Autobot logo at the top and also the same artwork of our Gravatron here. On the back, as usual from studio series, this figure come with the backdrop. We need 32 step to transform from robo mode to truck mode. This is official license from Freightliner for the truck mode. Here is 360 degree spin on our Galvatron. This figure really full of this mechanical detail sculpted on the body. To me, this is a very nice looking head scope. The details and the scoping work on this head scope really awesome. They not only paint out the eyes in red, they even have this metallic bull touch up on its forehead as well as the mouse plate area. Personally, I think this is the best head scope so far in studio series. The details on this figure is awesome. The body is full of this piston, revert, and the hydraulic cylinder. Too bad we don't have any paint job on the details here. I think a simple dry wash here will make these figures look even better. One thing I a bit disappointed is the body looks a bit square and a bit too flat here. It will be nice if they add another piece of armor on the upper torso to make the body look thicker and also add some curve on the edge. We have a hole here on the reactor area and the details is painted in orange. If you open out the body, we can attach this missile pack into its body. They also scroll out the details on the inner part. 
our Galvatron have this very large and thick shoulder armor. I think the design and the scoping work on the shoulder armor is good. Same as the body, the inner side of the hand also full of these mechanical details. The armor on its back hand is painted in this nice glossy silver. This glossy silver really looks good. Unfortunately, the back of the hand is full of this ugly hollow. I am quite disappointed. We have additional piece here with an hole design on it to make it look more accurate as in the movie. As you can see, the body actually is transformed from the truck head. The tight area also full of the rivet and the hydraulic cylinder, but we don't have any paint job on the details. Some silver dry wash on the details will make these figures pop out. Rosy silver paint job on the armor. You can see the mushroom pit here, and the wheel is nicely kept on here. Same on the lower part of the leg. The shin area also full of these mechanical details with nice glossy silver paint job here. More hydraulic cylinder sculpted here. To me, the lower leg looks a bit too thick and also a bit square here. It looks like a square ball on the leg. Our Galvatron have this claw-like feet. Well, I think it looks not bad. The wheel is nicely kept and hide inside here. Although it's not look perfect, at least they made an effort to hide out the hollow part of the leg. As usual, we have long sheet of instruction manual, a backdrop. I think we already saw this graphic several times already, so nothing interested here. A missile pack, mold in this black plastic. We don't have any paint job on this missile pack. I'm not really sure on the usage on this missile because it not really looks good. But you able to store this missile pack inside the body, and you able to see the missile through the hole on reactor. The arm cannon, the scoping work and the details on this cannon really looks good. This cannon is nicely painted in this glossy silver, but the bottom part of the cannon is a bit too hollow. We have obvious pit here for us to attach on its hand. Personally, I think this cannon looks a bit too small and also a bit too short. It looks more like a small pistol instead of more dangerous heavy weapon. Full rotation on its head. Slightly look up and slightly look down. Hand can hinge outward slightly over 90. Full rotation on the hand. Because of transformation, we can hinge forward his hand. His hand can bend up 180 degree. Bicep shriver. But no wrist shriver. Waist able to fully rotate, no problem, but can't crouch forward or backward. The leg can split outward that much. No any shin rotation. Forward kick slightly above 90 degree. And also kick backward that much. Knee joint able to hinge slightly over 90 degree. And the feet also can hinge inward that much as well as slightly move forward and backward. Our Gravatron is about 7 inch high. Here is Studio Series Thunder Cracker Kickback. Studio Series Sideway. Side Web. Coronation Star Scream. ZD Toys Upgraded Suit Spider-Man. Marvel Legend Netflix. Marvel Legend Deadpool Lightning Collection Scopina Metallic White Rangers NECA Robocop and RX78 Gundam
This is official license from Freightliner truck so the design is pretty accurate The marker slide is painted in nice metallic blue The windshield is more in black plastic the radiator gear are nicely sculpted up Front light is painted in this nice silver The details on the bumper are nicely sculpted out All the details on the side of the truck are nicely sculpted out here One thing I totally can't accept on this figure is The feet of our Gravatron are just leave it here I think this is a very ugly and lazy design How come they think it is okay to leave the feet exploding out on the truck? Too obvious hollow at the side because the cover is too small We also have a big gap here I think they can make use the part on the feet and try to transform the feet to cover out the hole here But nope, they decided to leave it here There is a slot here We have a pit on the cannon Just insert the feet into the slot It's a bit tricky but if your angle is right, you can attach the cannon to cover out the hollow But still, it looks a bit too empty To install this missile pad, we have a pit here And also a slot on the missile pad We just insert the pit into the slot on the missile pad Our truck is about 3 inch high Optimus Prime in truck mode Starscream in jet mode Dino mode sludge Echo suit spike with wiki Grimrock in robot mode And last but not least our master grade R at 78 Gundam because this is official licensed product from Freightliner The head of the truck looks very accurate and looks pretty good However, I just feel like the transformation design on these figures just partially complete They did quite a decent job to hide out the head of the truck when it's transformed to robot mode However, when it's transformed into this truck mode The feet of Galvatron just leave behind the truck I'm not really sure why they think this this type of design is okay To me, it looks very ugly and look like an incomplete product It will be great they can find out a way and add additional step to transform and hide the feet On its robot mode, the scoping work and the details on this figure is awesome The whole body is full of the details such as the revert, piston and hydraulic cylinder sculpted on the body The scoping work on the head scope also very good I think this is one of the best head scope in studio series However, I just think the body design on this figure looks a bit too square and flat It not looks accurate as in the movie I did hope they can add another piece of armor on its chest area To add some curve as well as thicker its armor on the chest The arm cannon also looks a bit too small Especially attached on this large Voyager class figures Besides, we also have obvious hollow on its hand I think this is already a norm for a transformer figures But still I hope they can improve on the holo part Overall this is an average figures I actually like its robot mode more than truck mode Thanks for watching Remember to come to visit our channel Please consider to subscribe our channel and give us some love As always, here we keep playing, keep building and keep dreaming Stay safe and see you in next video Ciao
this previous video, we asked, what is this figure? I am Bob.